And anyway, I'd like to move on, I know I'm running out of time, but I'd like to move on to um, the last area, which is practices. Because, I, again, I think this is particularly problematic. Um, Behaviours which can sometimes be transitory, they're just you know, happening in a particular context. They're also intangible. Um, and they're, they can be about a way of being of a person. So people's practices can be enormously influential and um, make a difference in the world. Uh, but how do you capture that? It's a bit like you were saying with some, some forms of art as well being like that. And how do we make value judgments on that? What or do we need to consider gender um, issues um, and what authentic behaviour is? So the little clip I want to show you is a film called Being There. In this clip, somehow this man seemed to have some sort of authority or presence and it was misunderstood. What about context? How important was the context? So when he said, are you related, or someone said, are you related to so and so and so? Again, they wanted to give this person credibility by giving them a connection to somebody important. Um, the meaning and interpretation of behavior. So he's talking about in the garden, and people are, people, other people are interpreting that in different ways. So I think that this clip is interesting because it's helping us to think about uh, the difficulties in assessing people's behaviours uh, and, and some of the cues what we might be using, some of the um, issues that might be in our mind in relation to people's practices. So when a person comes and says, well, I, 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 I introduce myself here, yeah, this is what I used to do, direct this program. Oh yeah, so that means this, 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 and this. What does it, what does it mean when we say what we do? And how do we prove it in a portfolio? And the reason I think that this is particularly important is because I think that some, I mean, can't prove it, but in my view is that Again, you might emphasize this in working in the organization you work in. If you can be good at practicing uh, leadership, then you can make huge amounts of things happen in an organization. But how do you prove that you've done that, apart from how your um, colleagues and, and people you work with do themselves? So it comes back to this distributive learning thing as well. I'm never really silence on this one. <laughs> well, one of the things that intrigues me about practices is that people can change. something you did and say what worked and what didn't 
and then if you can identify what, what didn't work and change your practice to make it work, that's learning is it? You can and you can identify that, so you can assess it. Be able to self-analyze, figure out what was what they were doing wrong and improve on it, and yes, and thus they therefore learn something. It's well, something interesting about, you know, just because you can do something doesn't mean you necessarily can do it well. <laughs> and where does that kind of come into it? And you got me thinking when you were talking about sort of sense of authority and, and perception. And say, for example, we work in the business school and, you know, if somebody comes to us and you know, they have a manager in the title, you make automatic, even, even subconsciously, I think, judgments about what they should be able to do because of their particular role title. Mm. Now, you know, not just in this institution, but other organizations I've worked in, just because you're in a position of authority, you know, certain elements in your job title or your role description doesn't necessarily mean you're good at it. Mm -hmm. So to me, there's there's something in, in there as well that, that is kind of problematic, or I don't quite know how to yes. get to it, but that's something that sparked in my mind when you were with this particular yeah. example. It's, it's, it's too, I mean, how um, some of the candidates got over it, got around it in, uh, the claims that they've made for the public works. I had one person who had done an enormous amount, I thought, um, in education, in the area of education. He had also um, published some things and he, he could show that he had contributed to policy development and so on. But it, it was around his leadership in a particular area that um, and I felt that he had, a, you know, what, what I drew out of him is him having something specific to be able to claim for. But it's very difficult to to to, to get that, you know, to, to show that in a piece of evidence. 